So this is step three of the tutorial where we are going to implement authentication and authorization using Spring Security. So this means creating a login screen uh, with username and password and then uh, securing views so that only um, users with a determined um, role can access these views, all right? So let's just jump into the code. So let's configure Spring uh, security here. And since Vadin 21, I believe, there is um, a helper class that allows us to configure that very, very easily. And it's called Vadin Web Security Configurer Adapter. So we have to extend that class. And uh, we need to override, we need to override a couple of things here. So the first one is configure with the HTTP security object here. And what we're gonna do here is set a login view that we're going to create in a moment. So let's call that login view dot class. It doesn't exist, but we're going to create it in a moment. Then we need to override also uh, the user uh, user detail service bean method to create some users so we can play with something, right? And this is a bean, so I need to uh, mark it as a bean here. And instead of returning this, we're going to return a new in memory user details manager uh, that receives, uh, for example, an array of user details objects. And one way to create those is, let me format this like that, is by using the uh, user uh, uh, class over here and then configure this, for example, with username. Let's create one for me, Alejandro. Um, password, it's going to be password, and this is going to be encrypted, or it's going to use an encoder, so we're going to use one that it's no operation. Um, this is the easiest way to do it, just to specify this here. Don't do that at home, <laughs> uh, or at least not in production. Use a proper encoder, password encoder. Mm. Then we can also specify the list of roles. We're going to use only one role in this example application, admin. And after that, we can just build the object. So this is the builder pattern. And we can create another one, separated by a comma here, because it's an array of objects for, let's say, Maria. And uh, you know what? Let's change this only to the letter P, so that it's easier to type later when I'm using the app in the browser. Um, OK, so we have configured the um, uh, web security using Spring Security. Now we just need to create this class and it is extremely, extremely simple. Let's create this in the UI package because it's a, um, a view. So it's going to go here. There it is. And this, of course, is a valid view. So it requires a route, for example, logging. It could be anything, really. This is so that we go to slash logging and then we'll see this, this view that we are going to implement here. And here's the first trick of this tutorial. It's very easy to implement these actually uh, by extending um, composite of login overlay. And then here in the constructor, what we can do is, uh, let me say first this related problem here what is going on. Maybe it requires the import. It's not that. Let's read the message. Uh, how can I read the message? Oh, yeah, I forgot something here, so I wasn't uh, paying attention to the parameters. I need to pass the HTTP object as well. All right, now it's compiling. Very good. And back to the login view. All we need to do here is get the content, which is this login overlay. It's going to return an object of, of that type. And then set opened true because it's an overlay, right? It's going to be on top of the screen. So we need to open it. And then set action logging. So it's going to use a slash logging using the post, um, uh, using post instead of, of, uh, of get. So it's not going, going to clash with this. Right, and Spring 
security is going to manage that authentication uh, for us. We really don't need to do anything else here. It's uh, very little code and we get a logging view. Um, now, we probably need a couple of views to check that the uh, uh, authentication and authorization is working. So let's create first a home view route empty, so a slash empty, nothing, because if it's a home view, <laughs> so it makes sense. Vertical layout, let's use vertical layout here, and oops, where did it go? Let me see, uh, here it is, a constructor, where we are going to simply, for now, let's just add a new h1 component, so a new um, title, home view, Let's format this uh, like that so we can add more things easier later, right? Um, and we need to say, hey, this is for everybody. You need to have a user registered in this. You need to be Alejandro or Maria, <laughs> which are the users we created, in order to see this view. So we mark this with anonymous allowed. And uh, now we can check that part. And let's create another view, admin view. Route slash admin again extends vertical layout and let's create something similar here so add let's add a new h1 admin view we need to specify the the roles so roles allowed from this package admin because all, all uppercase because that's what we use in the configuration here for these two users all right very good so we have I guess something we can try the first time you uh, if you are following this you are trying this uh, by yourself the first time you run this application takes a bit longer than subsequent runs but uh, mm, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a lot of time though let's see how it goes this time uh, the reason is because it has to download all the Maven dependencies, which maybe in my case I, maybe I had those already, uh, but it also has to build um, the front end and download the uh, client side uh, dependencies. So that's what this is uh, doing right now. That's what front end compilation means. And once you get it uh, ready, we should be able to see. The application here home view so it works but if i go to admin we should see the login form there we go so we didn't code this thing and it shows the login form uh, uh, automatically which is so cool so let's try with my username here the password was just one letter login and now i can see the admin view as well 